Hello everyone and welcome to Fran Bow. This is a game that I saw a very, very, very long time ago. I saw someone play this game and I haven't actually played it myself. So this will be the first time I actually play it. Let's go ahead and take a look at our options here. I have it at, at the maximum res resolution. Here's all the uh, settings. Everything else is pretty much default, I believe. I'm, I'm not sure about full screen. Don't need to play it in, in full screen because this is a game. The interesting thing about this, this art style is that it is all hand drawn. So even though we're playing at 1920 by 1080, I think the actual resolution of the hand drawn style is like maybe 720. So it is interesting. It's all hand drawn. So that's going to be really, really cool. So, um, let's actually read the description for this game before we actually hop on into it. After witnessing the gruesome and mysterious loss of her parents, found dismembered at their home, Fran rushes into the woods, together with her only friend, Mr. Midnight, a black cat that Fran had previously received as a present from her parents. In the forest, Fran goes into shock over the loss of her parents, and when she recovers, She's at Oswald Asylum, an oppressive mental institution for children, and Mr. Midnight is nowhere to be found. After having a dream about her beloved cat, Fran decides to escape from the mental institution to find him and go back home to Aunt Grace, her only living relative. Okay. We're going to start a new, new game. And we're going to get some story here. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. I see my parents. They look happy. They have a present for me. I wonder. It's the cat. So sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. It's Mr. Midnight. My best friend. My only friend. We are having dinner and I see Aunt Grace too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. We are having so much fun. It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels really bad. A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. Suddenly, I hear something. It's mom, screaming. I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. And closer. Mom? Dad? Please don't. Mommy? Daddy? Fran, please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two.
two. Three. Fran, how do you feel? Okay, so here's where we can we can make different choices as to what we want to do. So I'm fine, I guess, or I feel like I'm I feel like dying. Hmm. I'm gonna go with I feel like dying. I feel like dying. I don't understand why you make me do this. Try to calm down. This is part of your recovery. My parents are dead. Recovery. Don't you get it? My parents are dead. Oh, poor thing. Something. Everything will get better. I promise. Better? Then let me go. Nonsense. Nonsense. Promise? That's nonsense. You just keep me here. We keep you here so we can take care of you. But now, I have something for you, Fran. Okay. What is it? To the desk, there's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Okay, so here's where we can... This is like a point-and-click game, so we can look around different things here. We can investigate, and we just picked up the little purse. This was my mother's purse. Open it. There is something inside. Okay, so here's like our inventory system. So we have a note here, lost and found. Take a look at this note. Yes, you actually, I can't use this. Okay, maybe I can examine it. Yes, you can. Let's examine. Dearest Fran, here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. So I hope you are always keep this purse and give it and all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. She is worried about you. Aunt Grace? Well, another reason to let me go. Well, don't worry about her. She is fine. So tired of all this, or can I leave now? Yeah. Can I go to my room now? Yes, you can leave, but before you do, it is time for your new medication. <sighs> no more medicine. I don't want to try more medicine. It's called Duotine, and it will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Anything new today, Dr. Dern? Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Oh, I see. Here, friend. Take your medicine. I don't wanna. We don't have all day, Fran. Take the pills now. Nope. Anything else like you? You really can't do anything else. We must take these pills. Alright. Let's take these pills. I don't feel good. Oh no. Take her back to her room. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. Beware, Franbo. If you leave this house of the, the house of madness, I will hunt you down, pet you, and bring you back to insanity. Ran, wake up. The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. Chapter 1. My Sober Day 
Okay, so we have a demon. Demon that will hunt us down. Okay. So here we are. We can investigate, we can look at stuff, we can wake her up. Hmm. I'm still here. Hideous place. I have to get out of here. Indeed you do. Okay, so there's various things we, we can do. We can look inside of our little pouch. There's nothing here. We already read read the note. There's nothing else to look at. There's various things we can in look at here. Actually, there's something written on, on the wall. Let's take a look. Fran Bo Dagenhart, age 10. She's a female. And there's her case number. Massive, really long case number. Makes you wonder how many kids were actually in here, right? <laughs> that many kids, right? No, I don't know. Okay, so the history is the patient was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. The Bao Dagenhard family tragedy. Details omitted. Treatment. Dr. Meso Dern has tried different medications and all have been canceled because of side effects. So this is dated July 25th, 1944. So this is the uh, time, time frame that this game takes, takes place in. So we have a year now, 1944. That's right, Pennywise. Here's Pennywise here. I will get your nose. I will get it. That's kind of dumb. Locked. Good reason to get curious. Hmm. Are you a happy clown? Can you make, make me laugh? I'm having a hard time laughing again. <laughs> okay, let's see what, th what this is. Oh, sweet, sweet melody. One more time. La la la. Hmm. It does the same as before, huh? Indeed. There we go. Very, very nice. Very, very good. Let's see if we have a cross here as well. Hopefully this won't fall into my head while I'm sleeping. Got some notes over here to look at. Okay, so red and tiny, you are hiding from me. And then there's the monster. The monster that... That wants us to be brought into psychosis and I guess have all these experimental drugs. That, that's the thing. Mr. Midnight said that the drugs were going to help us escape. But whenever we take the drugs, we see all these horrific things. You know, what's what's with this demon? It, maybe maybe the demon wants us to take all these experimental drugs. Ha ha ha, yes. Take the experimental drugs. You know? It, oh my gosh, is Dr. Fauci the demon? Dr. Fauci is the demon, isn't it? That's what we see. Whenever we take the experimental drugs, we see the Dr. Fauci demon. Oh, no. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he's afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. See, I don't... Again, I, that's kind of weird. Hmm. There he is. Cute little kid. Oh, dear. I miss you so much. I will find you, Mr. Midnight. I promise. Don't be afraid, my dear kitty. Everything will be fine. The monster. Nope, nothing else. Okay. So the little eyeballs here indicate that we can go to the next screen. So here's this this, this screen here. Let's take, take a look what we can look at here. This little chest under here. Oh, oh, a secret box. Hmm. Yes, let's, let's examine it. A little box. It's open. Oh. I can, can I, can I use it? There you go. A key. This will certainly open something. Can we examine this too? A tiny little key. Okay, so we have we, we have a key now, which is good. Here's a little teddy bear. I hope somebody loves you. Hello again, Mr. Teddy. Okay, who's this kid? Hello, Phil. Oh gosh, it's Dr. Phil when, when he was a kid? Oh no, we got Dr. Fauci in this game. We got Dr. Phil now. Hello. Is, th see, this is maybe, maybe you know, this is what really messed Doctor Phil up when, when, when he was a kid. Something happened. Something crazy happened. He was traumatized, and then he some that this is where his Doctor Pepper addiction stemmed from, from whatever happened that led him to this, and he just started binging on Doctor Pepper after this. Oh my goodness! Now we know Doctor Phil's backstory. We, I mean, well, well, we don't actually know exactly how he became, you know, the way that he is, but still. We know that something traumatic happened in his past that made him addicted to Dr. Pepper. Anyway. 
Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and ask Dr. Phil how he is. How are you, Dr. Phil? How are you? Everybody says that I'm sick. They are just stupid. I have... I have to find Kitty now. Bye. They are just stupid. They always say that. They are just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? Hmm. I will if you help me. The only thing I know is that the office is the key. So we have to try to get into the office to get out, I guess. There's a key inside? There's a key inside? The key? Is that a key inside the office? I saw the doctor write a secret code. Hmm. A secret code to open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? Him. Oh! Ha ha ha! Yes! All doors are closed! You are a prisoner of my game! Ha ha ha! Phil! Oh no, so Dr. Phil... And nobody will help you escape! Dr. Phil and Fauci know each other. That is the tour. Okay. Leave me alone. I hate you. Okay. So now we know. We don't know exactly what led to Phil coming in here, but it seems to be, it seems to be that Dr. Fauci the demon, Dr. Fauci the demon has traumatized Dr. Phil because he had, he had the name doctor before his name, you know? Doc, Dr. Phil, doctor is his first name. His last name is Phil. And Dr. Fauci's like, no, I'm the only real doctor. Goodness. Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. No, I won't let that monster stop me. Okay. Some massive lore. We're getting massive lore in this game. I used to have a blue dress like, like, like yours. I can't play with you now. I'm on a very secret mission. Okay, so here is Phil. Philamore Bronstone, age 8. The patient... Okay, here we go. We get to learn why he, why he came in here. The patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Brownstone. The boy has developed paranoia, paranoid behavior. Paranoia not yet diagnosed. Treatment? Daily treatment with Dr. Marcel Dern. We have not achieved the patient's trust, and he refuses to be questioned. Yeah, it's, that's, that's because he's, he's a, a therapist. You know, he does the questioning. You don't question doc Dr. Phil. Sorry, you just don't. It's not how this works. Oh, wooden Mr. Horse. Are oh, you having a good time? Back and forth. The trip of our lives. Yeehaw. Okay. That's the fun. <laughs> okay. See, we can literally investigate everything here. If I sit down, I will eventually get up. So what's the point? <laughs> if I sit down, I will eventually get up. So what's the point? I like that. To be seated or not to be seated? That is the question. Hmm. Okay. We have a door here that is that is locked. Okay, so maybe the key that we have can unlock it. Let's actually go over here first. We've not actually looked over to the left. Let's actually investigate this curtain. Oh, holy moly, something fell. Oh, I guess I broke the curtains. Now I can look outside. There's also a little hook here. A handy hook. I'll save it to play pirate later. Okay. A golden hook that fell from the curtains. Okay, so we can look outside. Okay, so the outside is heavily guarded, as we can we can see. You know, there is a, a singular spotlight that is very easy to bypass. Tower defense. We, we have for you a crazy person called... Or is it defense tower? Mm, I guess that is my way out. I don't think my head would fit through the window. Okay. Let's head, head, head over to the left. Hey, nurse. Nurse Heideltron. <laughs> uh, my legs are just fine. Um, I'm not disabled. Okay. Empty bottles, empty glasses, nothing useful. Towels, towels, I don't need towels. I don't think I need any of this. 
Hmm, anything on top here? I can't see through this window. I guess it's the same view as the window next next to it. Let's, let's go and take a look. Oh, this one's all boarded up. Hmm, not so easy to see through this. Is that the playground? Indeed, looks like maybe someone already tried jumping through this window. Yeah, she could break the window and jump out. Ah, the playground. Good night, trees and moon. I'm pretty sure the playground isn't a good escape route. Um, I like the bunny swing swing thing. It makes me dizzy. Okay, let's talk to the uh, nurse. Nurse Hi Heidotron. <laughs> That'd be funny if that's her name, but no, that's not going to be her name. Oh, I want to know what she's writing. I guess the nurse would never let me touch anything. I know the nurse always keeps the medicine, but but where? Oh. Okay, let's talk talk to her. Oh, Fran, you're awake. Good. Yes, how long was I asleep? Three days, maybe. Oh, my goodness. Was it the, me the medicine that made me sleepy? Yes, it was the medicine. That's why you're not taking it anymore. But Dr. Fauci, the demon, and our cat apparently wants us to, you know? Um, I did something. Nurse lady, I did something. See? You are nothing but trouble. What is it? Yeah, I broke the curtain. Sorry. I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. Oh, accidentally? I have to fix this. Follow me. Actually, I'm not going to follow you. Go ahead over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just walk on off. Walk on off. Nurse is still inside this room. She would go crazy if I touch anything. Ah. Is there any way to actually look? I better go and talk with her. Ah. I want to look inside her desk. Yes, yes, yes. Well, and what? Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? What's the... Yeah. What's the hook? Um, what's the hook? Well, I have to go and find something to fix this. You little girl. Oh, darn brats. Yes, she's gone. Freaking idiot's gone. Okay, now it's time. Now it's time. Yes, 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 yes. Let's start investigating. Ew. Ew. I'll, I'll keep these patches to stop blood. Okay, great. Got some notes here. Okay, nursing visit report. Nurse name. Gladys. I don't know what the, I don't know what her last name is, but it starts with an H. I'm gonna call her Hydrotron. <laughs> Gladys Hydrotron. Okay, Fran Bo, whatever her her last name is here. Okay, the patient has been sleeping almost all the time. She only wakes up to drink water, but I but I doubt but I don't think she remembers that. A few drinks, she goes to sleep again. She hasn't been... She, she ha- I mean, it's so hard to read this. She hasn't been something for three days now. Social, I guess, is what that says. Some kids have uh, um, come around and... Something about her and when she would come out and play. Hmm. So... Here's some numbers. Here, here are some some letters. That looks kind of like a puzzle. So eight H. Okay. Let's remember that. What do we have here? Violent trauma can have a great impact on children, totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe deficits in some abilities, such as trusting people near them. Seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, etc. Because of these effects, some traumas can lead to severe symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in the world. This can be interpreted as paranoia. Crawling of the brains. So we have the frontal lobe, the motor cortex, sensory cortex, the oriental lobe, the 
occipital lobe and the temporal lobe. I've actually never heard of the four and five one. I've heard of every all the other ones. Interesting. Let me see. Traumas. Hmm. Trauma is a is a word the doctor loves to say. Hehe. <laughs> the brain looks like a turtle. <laughs> the brain looks looks like a turtle. The nurse handwriting is awful. I only understand three words. Fran, sleeping, and duotine. Duotine. That was the drug that we took. That was the Okay, here we go, here we go. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, goodness. This is terrible. Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all? I'll leave it as it was. I really need to get out of this place. I kind of want it, though. I kind of want it. I think this is where the medicine is, but it looks locked. Oh. Okay, so let's actually look at that. Bring up our inventory. We have we have this. What does this do? Tiny patches to cure wounds. Okay, so I guess if 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 we get damaged at all. And then this. My pills are inside. I know it. I have to crack the code. Oh, I see. Hide. Okay, so this spells hide, so we had to find find the numbers. Ah, open, open. Okay, so we got to spell out hide. So he here it is. So H I D E. So it's gonna be eight nine four five. Okay, let's do that. Let's go ahead and open it. Eight nine four five. There we go. The pills. Kitty told me these would help me. Oh, I, I... I don't know how much you can actually, um... Trust that, though. Okay. I guess we should we should take, take one, right? I guess we should. Oh, no. Oh, no. We enter the Dr. Fauci demon world. Get out, creepy creature. What are you doing, huh? Tell me. You like to s see me sad? Oh my goodness. Okay. It says watch your step. Hello, Miss Nurse. Are you alright? Hello, huh? Okay, so everything has just gone really creepy now. So we have entered the, the demon world. Oh no. We have a dismembered head and three figures. Oh, is that my head? Give my head back, please. Just go away, you weird creatures. Makes you wonder now, is there anything outside these other windows? You notice how there's no uh, w a window in the center there. Doesn't look like there were anything else in these windows. Okay, so yeah, this is really creepy now. Break the curtain. Now I can look outside. Yeah, you can. Okay, what is this? Oh, are you sleeping, sweet bunny? No, the bunny's dead. Bunny, wake up. Please, bunny, just wake up. Where did the clown go? Yeah, that is the biggest question here. I hope he's not around here. Oh, no. Oh, no. It looks like he escaped from the painting. Maybe he went down here, down the steps, possibly. Locked. Good reason to get... Well, we do have that key. I wonder if that'll un unlock this. Use tiny key with the drawer. Yep, there we go. Yes, yes, I got it. And there is something inside. Okay, so we have a picture. Oh, it's a picture of our, of our family. The picture of our family. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're all twi uh, twisted looking. Oh, my dear family. I'll guard this with my life. I miss you so much. I really need you here with me. I will find my kitty and then go to you, Aunt Grace. I know Aunt Grace would take good care of me and Mr. Midnight. Wish my parents were alive. So let me actually... 
Yeah, take off take off the pill effect and then let's actually look at this nor normally. There we go. This is how it should normally look. Okay. And then what was the other item that we ended up getting? Let's see, we got it's like a, a bobby pin? My hair clip. I should give it a good use, okay. Yeah, we can't actually use it for anything here. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, okay. So, let's head back into the demon world now. Who did it? Wish I could know the answer. I'll find out, I promise. Yeah, who killed our, our parents? That's, that's what I would like to know. Blood. Find him. Somebody has been playing with my notes. Haha, <laughs> it was Dr. Fauci. Hmm. Well, I'm curious now, how is Doc, Dr. Phil looking over- Oh, Dr. Phil. You got a demon next, next to you. Okay. Why are you looking at me like that? You terrify me. What is that back thing sitting next to you? He's telling you things. Can you hear it? Okay. You can see. Can you see? The door- this door will be locked. Of course it's locked, yeah. And we don't- there's no key for us or anything, yeah. Which means demon world it is. What about this deer- oh! Hello! Oh no, your head! I'll try to put your head back on. I'm sorry. I can't help you, Mr. Deer. Okay, you know, I'm just gonna go over here and go down the steps. Things can't can't get any worse, right? Surely. No, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. But she has to know. You can't keep me away from her. The reason is more clear. More than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. You can't. Fran's mental condition is not appropriate yet. So Aunt Grace has tried to come take us out of here. Was that real? Oh dear, Aunt Grace. I wonder what she has to tell me. That doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight. I guess like we have a dead fox. Oh no, Foxy Fox, don't cry. Use my hand as a tissue. Would you like a hug? Foxy, why are you so sad? Okay. Let's get out of pill world. Anything else new here that we can look at and do? Nope, that's that's locked. Well, you know what? We have a we have our bobby pin. Maybe we can unlock the door with our bobby pin. We also have a hook too. Maybe for something. Use that on on the door. Let's see if we can un unlock it. It fits, but there are two holes. I need something else. Maybe this? Ugh, the shape is not right. Hmm. Maybe we can combine. Combine certain items. Can we combine those? No. Combine with... Combine band-aid... No, that's not gonna work. Um, no. Okay, let's actually do this. Vine hair clip with that. Oh, that's not gonna work. Okay. Let's try to look for something else. There must be something else we can end up picking up here. Hmm. Maybe, maybe back in... What about this? Anything here? Nope, nothing here. Okay, let's enter the demon world and let's see if we have anything to actually pick up here. There's something on top of here. But no, no, nothing, nothing of interest. What's on our bed? Can we do anything else here? Door is empty. Broke the curtains. Okay. Oh, the doll's here. I don't remember seeing the doll. Can we do anything with the doll? I used to have it now. 
Same exact thing. Okay. But imagine this would probably be the same thing there, right? But there are two holes. I need something else. There wouldn't be ba anything back in the nurse's desk, right? We, we can actually see the nurse's desk. There's also another bunny here, too. It looks like... You got a little blood in your mouth. Are you okay? My mommy also has blood in her mouth. She looked sad. Okay. Yeah, we can't really do anything with that with that demon there. Let's just make sure there's nothing else. We have this this gun. We can't do anything with the gun. We can't do anything with any of that stuff. Hmm. I don't want to. I just woke up. Unpleasant night nightmares. We haven't actually looked at look this. I could s still walk around it and see what's on the other side. Is there anything else that we can see here? Do you have anything else to say, Phil? Did you find the doctor's code yet? It's in the office. I have not fa I found it yet, Phil. Um... We must have to use the hook on, on something else, right? Hmm. No, I, I don't know. Hmm. That would not work. I know that. It's still locked. If I were bigger, I could take it down. We have we have one one of those things, but but what is the other thing that we need? I'm surprised that I'd be stumped on like the first puzzle here, you know? Was not expecting that. Can we do any anything here? No. Hmm. There must be something that we are not either seeing or I have to combine something or use something somewhere but there's literally um, nothing that I'm seeing here hmm Hmm. Okay, so apparently there is something else here in the pill mode. Obviously, I did not see it. Right here. It's so tiny. It's right where, where she is, right on the ground little needle. Excuse me, lady. This may be very useful. So, it's a little needle. Okay, so now we know. We gotta pay... We gotta look at every little thing here. Okay. So now, we should be able to use this, right? Almost, but there is another hole. I need something else. Okay. Okay, so looks like we're gonna have to combine them now. So combine. There we go. Now that we have that. There we go. Yes to happiness. Actually, let's take off pill mode. Let's look at this normally. Okay. Got another window here. The maze. We never get to play there. Whoa, tonight the fog is pretty thick. I wish I could get lost in there. The maze we never get to play. Okay. There's another room here, it looks like. Got some more kids here. Snuggle, snuggle, old lady on your chair. Okay, okay. And your booty will be flat like your face. <laughs> that looks like Barney in there. Oh, let me see. A red puppet and a serpent. The red puppet is, is Barney, isn't it? 
a teddy bear, and many other things. Okay, this little girl here, let's talk, talk to her. Hello. You see them. You do, right? <laughs> I don't buy. What? See what? The creatures that follow everywhere. Everyone. The shadow? You mean the shadows? Like, I don't see anything. Uh-huh. I can't see them, but I know they are there. I wish I didn't. You know that they are... Do you know what they are? Yeah, I guess. I have to go now. <laughs> tell me, please. Well, tell me, please. You like to draw? I love to draw. I love it, too. Yes, I love it, too. But tell me more about the shadows. Crayon, a crayon. I want to find a crayon. I draw all the time. I want to find my cat. What are you drawing? Something. What is it? My dreams. Go now. Creepy AF. That's mine. My crayons. Can I have it? I just like this green crayon so much. Can I have it? No, I won't be able to draw green then. That's ridiculous. But you have so many. Oh, that's true, but you have so many other colors. Yes, many colors, but you know, they don't like me drawing. Who? The nurses. They tie me up, and when I want to draw, I can't. Me too sometimes. They tie me up sometimes too, it hurts. When I can't draw, I hurt myself. They c then comes the red milk. Look. Oh. Yeah, that's a lot of red red milk, isn't it? Please, cure me. Yes, and stop the red milk. I, I'll see what I can do. Another creepy clown on the wall. Oh, this is one of those mute clowns. I've seen so many, and they all look sad. This is one very happy, though. Good for him. Yeah, he's done well in life. He's, he's killed a lot of kids, you know? Oh, rare flowers. They smell so sweet. The drawer is empty. Okay, she had a doll on here. The bed is very pink. Okay. Guess that's all here. Let's make sure. Let's make sure. Okay, now it's time to enter Demon World. Oh, no. Oh, no. The clown is gone again. Where did the clowns go? I hope he's not around here. Looks like he escaped from the painting. Indeed he did. Even the purest of things die in this place. Tiny, tiny hands all over you, eating your soul. What do you look like? A f Why do you look like a fabric doll? What have they done to you? Please, somebody tell me something. I don't want to touch it. The laugh. Maybe if I touch it, it would jump and scare me a lot. Mm, Alright, nothing happened. It must be dead. I don't want to touch the clown. Oh gosh, I, I couldn't even read that. I was just listening to the clown. Okay, looks like there's nothing in here for us. Oh wait, we never actually read her notes. You can see. Can you see? Yes. Yes, you can. Okay, that's actually get a get out of pill mode here, and let's look at this, so... Adelandia? Rugents? Age 7? The patient was a victim of sexual abuse by an unknown person, which almost killed her. This event has created auditory hallucinations and thought disorder. Dr. Marcel Dern has become close to the patient through drawing therapy. She is making progress. Good to know. Okay. There's a door here. The throne is empty. I didn't realize that anyone could see me pooping. Gross. I can and will hold it. But is it empty in the demon world? In the Dr. Dr. Fauci world? Oh! Oh! 
What was that? And it says, Daddy was not there. Mommy would not care. Let's take a look. The king likes... Ooh. The king likes drawing. I don't like this. Somebody wrote something here. Interesting. And that person who walked by? Okay. Mr. Midnight! You, you're my beloved friend. Bip boop broom. If you want to hug me, try to catch me. Bip boom broom. If you can't catch me, it's because you haven't found me. Okay, and then this door is locked. What? That wasn't here before. Okay, I'm getting out of there. It's creepy. Ah, there you are. You should be in your room. The door was closed. Yeah, you know, you left it open, ma'am. You left it open. But you left it open. I'm sure it was not open. I know because I locked it. Hmm. <laughs> Are you sure? You told me to go and eat. Did I? Hmm. All right, then carry on. <laughs> All right. Head down. The gate here. This gate is very locked. I guess I've never been... Uh, I've never seen this gate un unlocked. Not even when I first came here because I don't remember that. Okay. Demon world. Let's take a look at how everything looks. Oh gosh. Hello up there, miss. Your dress is very pretty. My mother had very pretty dresses too. There's an eyeball here. Oh, this clock sounds odd. It feels like it's whispering right in my ear. Can't understand what it says. The clock's eye looks like Mr. Midnight's. Maybe it's because time is running out for him. Oh, my dear kitty, I have to find you. Hmm. The sign shows where things are in the hospital. I wonder what the blinking light is for. It's very hypnotic. Anything else? It was like a painting here. Sir Oswald Harrison, a bearded old man. Wonder why he built this place. Maybe he had a crazy child and wanted to get rid of it. <laughs> Maybe. <clears throat> a bleeding clock. It's like time is broken and stopped. I find clocks to be a bit depressing. Reception room. You always find a nurse in there. I could smile and bow and tell the nurse to open the gate, but then again, they'd really think I'm insane. Okay, so, so uh, some of that was just the standard stuff there. Yellow door. That is my way out. I have to open it, but how? Phil said the door's office is the key, so we had to try to find a way into this reception room in order to get out, it looks like. Alright, let's continue on. Oh, sir. Hey, get your hands off that old, that office door. Hey, get your hands off that office door. I told you once. Now, I'm going to tell you again. Sir? The key hanging up there. Can I have it? Sure, I could give you the key if you give me a kiss. Excuse me? Excuse me. Excuse me. You should ki you should kiss your your butt. What a bastard! You can kiss your butt. I told you, a kiss with a key. What do you say, eh? Look, girl, if you keep coming here, I won't be able to control myself. What do you keep on co coming to me? Do you love me? That is, uh, something else, man. The blackboard is empty. No drawings. Here's the keys. That's the office key. It must be, but what can I do to reach it? Hey, what are you looking at? The key. Can I have it? The keys. Would you give them to me? Sure, I can give you the key if you give me, if, if you give me a kiss. You're giving me the key? A kiss? Are you serious? 
And then you will give me the keys? Sure, come here and sit on my knee. Die with a pineapple or I'll kill you. <laughs> what a loser. I hope you die with a giant pineapple grows in your butt. <laughs> Why a giant pineapple grows in your butt? Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I can't reach those tiny windows. I could go and look through the other windows. Okay, let's see what he looks like in... Oh! Oh, no. Oh, no. Ew, a cr crunchy pig's head ready to be served. I wonder who would eat this. I think my kid kitten kitty would be afraid of it. Ew, Mr. Pig is naked. Mr. Pig has no wings to fly with. No flying, Mr. Pig, here for me to, to see. There's Mr. Pig's intestines. Wonder what part of the body that is. Sticky, bloody parts. I don't want to touch it. it says reach the key. Hmm. Okay. Heading on. I do not like you. This this gate's also locked over over here, it looks like. Feels like a chilly breeze of sadness coming through the fence. I wonder what they truly do down there. Maybe I don't want to know. Hello, are you alright? What is that supposed to mean? I just wanted to know if you feel okay. I don't want to tell. The doctor will cut your head open if you don't leave. He likes to eat brains. He already took mine. He ate all of my thoughts. He ate your brain? He will eat yours too. I saw you inside the doctor's office. You were dead. Oh no. Then I have to go. I hope you find new thoughts. Bye. Okay, that is something else. Ma'am? How do you look like in Demonville? Oh! Oh no, what is this? What is this? Teddy? What are you doing here? Teddy! Look, he's like struggling. He's struggling. Are you on your way to meet another Teddy? Say hello from me. From me when you get there. Oh gosh, she's just... Mr. Teddy's struggling here. I will laugh at you. I will lie to you. I will hide you inside the shadows. I will laugh at you. Okay. You know, this is, uh... This, this door is also locked in this world also. Okay. Mr. Teddy. Mr. Teddy, okay. Let's head on over. Oh, okay. Tons of clowns. What's with all these clowns? Isabel? She won't wake up. I guess this means she is heavily sedated. Would you like to help me escape? With your big muscles and hairy arms, you could break through every wall. Good night, shiny toys. Have you seen my kitten? He is the most funny and clever guy you would like him. Clowns on the walls in the house of madness. You are way better inside the frame than down here, sir. Elephant, sir, you are very pink and soft. Too pink, huh? You look like you have been training at the circus. And your tummy is filled with love. Your tiny hat is very sweet. The smile on your face is quite scary. Did you say something? Ugh, oh, creepy. The action man. Could either of you help me find my kitty? The soldier lost his leg in the war. And the cowboy ate the princess. Little paper boat, tell me to this take me to the sea and beyond. I wonder if the paper boat can sail. Because if it sinks, I could drown because I can't swim. Okay, what is this? They look like arms. I thought that was literally arms in there. It's just okay, so this is what? A sash or a robe. Good to tie things. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I'm kind of thinking. Combine that with this. Oh, yes, I can. Now I can use the rope to tie the hook with something. Okay. 
Cool. Cool, cool. Okay, now I guess we gotta talk to this kid. Hello. What are you doing? It doesn't work. The paper is not working. <clears throat> what do you mean? The paper should be working. Like they told me. What does the paper do? I need the paper to show me what's on the television. Oh, I see, but why isn't it working? The waves must be powerful. Change the channel, please. Okay. Oh, the Happy Cupcake Channel. We like this channel. Human, human testing approved! Yes! This is when I created the very first experimental drug that you must take. Oh no, it's the Dr. Fauci channel. The ant and the pine cone. As he reaches out, <laughs> the ant just glares at the pine cone. Waiting for it to drop and smoosh him. No signal. That's kind of weird. It seems like there would be something on this station. Anything else, sir? It works! It works! A miracle! Thank you, paper vision positive! Great, can I see? No, this is mine. If you want, you can take the papers that didn't work. I suppose I can use it. Okay, thank you. I suppose I can use the paper to write or draw on. I'm busy. Paper vision, revision in action. Very nice. Anything else, sir? Get out. Danger. Paper vision, revision in action. Okay, you know what? Going into demon world now. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no, his head exploded. Look at me. I say I care while you're dying of hunger and thirst. What's on the TV? Oh gosh, it's me! Um, I think I see something or not. All the stations are the same. And he's dead. Oh no, they did it all wrong. They cut your head into pieces. Please take me out of here. Please take me out of here. Where did the clowns go? Yeah, where did the clowns go? And look at this. Person's dead over here. Isabel. Wake up, Isabel. The black shadow is touching you. It says that you're going to die soon. Are you afraid of death? I hope not, because it may happen even if you don't like it. Look at that. He's perfectly fine. He's perfectly fine. Not a care in the world. Okay, this this looks like a really twi a twisted room. It really does. The grandfather clock is big and grand. Tick tock, tick tock. It will never stop. Okay. What have we done here? Chocolate? Mmm, yummy. I don't like bitter coffee. The menu for the day. Mmm, pasta. The signal is weird. It must be because we are so far away from everything. I don't really understand why. What they say. Okay. Mommy loved to paint roses. Is this the owner again? I don't like this painting. It feels like Mr. Oswald is staring at me. Yes, Mr. Oswald is very old. Old enough to be dead. I don't like this painting. Okay. Mr. Midnight, are you here? I suppose not. Oh dear. What should I do to find my kitty? The sofa made me... M may need to... S looks like it's that one. Okay. I can't sit. The sofa is taken. 
It, it, this smells like poo. Oh no, Mr. Ba Bear, have you have you poopied? Have you poopied on 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 there? Can I have some food, please? A little lemonade. I'm not that thirsty. I miss Mr. Midnight. That's the only thing I know. Oh, nice. A croissant. A tasty cinnamon. Oh, it's a, ci a cinnamon bun. Okay. I wonder if that pasta was cooked today. Not by the look of it. Ooh, the salad looks fresh for once. Milky milk. I guess this carton is all sour. Wow. Okay. Go and talk to the uh, nurse. So let's see what this, um... Hang on. See what this uh, nurse, nurse wants to... Oh, hello, Fran. How are you today? I see dead animals. I see dead animals, miss. You mean in the television? No. For real. I mean, for real. Just forget it. Very well, Fran. Go play with your friends now. Anything else? Fran, I told you. Go mind your own business. I'm very busy. Reading my pornographic adult erotic material. Fran, what is it now? Can I borrow your magazine? No, this is for adults only. No! Oh, darn. Can I get another cro a croissant? Alright, took, took one. Young lady, I'm here all day listening to everyone's problems. It's late now, and I'm very tired. Just leave. What's your name? I'm sorry, miss. What's your name? My name is Blanche. Oh no, Miss Blanche. Now please, go, go away. Please, Fran, just go away. Yep, oh, that's it, okay. Let's see what this kid is all about. Hello, are you new here? I haven't seen you before. No. Are you from downstairs? Uh-huh, they think I'm better now. What's your name? Can you please kill me? Please? Sure. Bang! You're dead. Thank you. I can't talk now. I'm dead. Okay. Okay, let's head over here. Birdie bird, I like you. I wish I could take... I wish you could take me out of here. Can you? Fly away. What are you waiting for? I don't want this. I'm not hungry. I guess if Damien eats the pasta, I can... What do you say? It can't be that that bad. Okay. There's another window. Let's take, take a look outside the window. Again, it's the playground. Don't touch my sword! It looks like a cane, man. I didn't know it was yours. You should bow... Bow and clear. Speak clearly to me. I'm your king. I bow to you. Very well, my child. What's the purpose of your visit? I want your cane. What walking cane? Do you mean my sword? Yes, your highness. Your sword. What would you give what would you give me in exchange? Um anything you need, your highness. Bring me a castle and a horse. Only then will I grant you my sword. Where is my castle and horse? But I don't know where to find them. Sometimes a closed door gives you more than an open one. Anything else, sir? No. I wish I talked to him in, uh, initially instead of touching his cane, you know? I'll keep keep looking. Okay. And he loves to drink the milk like a kitten. Sadly, she's not my cat. I'm going to miss her. I guess she won't remember me. There's a door here. The door is always locked at night. I can't go out and play. I guess I have to wait until tomorrow. But that's absurd. I have to find my kitty. 
Okay, so where's that kid who kind of walked over here? There she is. She's sitting on the... Hello, Annie. How are you? Aren't you afraid of me? No, why would I? Because I can do magic tricks and make you sleepy. I didn't know you could. Magic tricks? I didn't know you could. Show me. Show you? But it's very scary. It's better if you do it. I'm not a magician. I can't. I'm not a magician. I can give you the magic stuff. Really? Whoa. Yes, the magic stuff that will make you make anyone fall asleep. Is it is it pills? Is it pills? That's amazing. Powerful and grand. Here's the gift. Take it slowly. Yep, it's a pill. It's a pill. All right, how does it work? I have no idea. Bye now. My stomach's all flared up from all those sleepy pills. Okay, well, guess what? Demon world now. Oh. It's alive. If Kitten were here, he would probably attack it. Hope it doesn't start following me. I saw something out there. That holy man took all your clothes off. Oh, how pretty all these roses are, right? Your mommy doesn't believe you. So it's like all the things that they're saying are just, I guess, some sort of trauma that they that they went through. It's their inner inner demons. Oh gosh, look at this one. Nurses over there dead. They hide you because they love you. They harm you because they hate you. Oh, little boy, everything feels ashamed. Everyone feels ashamed of you. Maybe he was, um, kind of held captive. Is the nurse's dead? Oh no, the nurse lady died. I wonder who did this. It wasn't me. It smells really bad. It feels like the smell is all over me. What have we here? Chocolate? Yeah, okay. The teddy bear. Okay. There's really no way, way, way there. So I guess if we want to have him go to sleep, we could feed this to him, right? Let's see. Magical stuff to make anyone fall asleep. What if we combine that with this? There you go. This is a magical cake now. A sleepy, sleepy cake. Sir, I have a cake for you to eat. Oh, you gifts with a cake. What do you say, eh? Hey, hey, sir, I have a cake. You must now eat it. Okay, so there's actually an, an, an achievement here we can get to force him to eat the cake. And what we want to do is we want to pick all of the B options. A cake. Eat it. Look, a cake. Eat it. I'm not interested in taking anything that comes from you. Your regret. Oh, well, you regret it. It's very yummy. All right, leave it on the table. I'll eat it later. Fresh from the oven. Take it now. It's very fresh. Directly from the oven. Alright then. Let's taste the bun. Okay, we got the achievement. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. I'm asleep now for sure. So, alternatively, what we would do is we would have him get... We, he would, uh, we would get coffee. And we would spill that on on him. I don't think I picked up any coffee. I guess I would pick it up over over here or so. Look at that. Look at this fool. He's asleep. Oh, he's asleep like a little prince. If I call emergency, I don't think they would they would help. The table isn't interesting at all. I don't even want to be near this this guard. No, he's creepy. Let's go ahead and, and use this and get get the key. 
Ah, I can't just throw it. I must... Where is it? Arm eyes. An extension of my arm would be nice. Hmm. We can't actually use that directly. Have we, have we missed something else? Can't just throw it. I could harm my eye if I miss. Have we missed something else? Anything else to pick up? So I guess we would pick up coffee or something. Um. Yeah, I don't know exactly how we would end up doing that, but... We need the cane. This is what we, what we need, I guess. Can we take it in the in in the demon world? Let's say. Is it is not there? Okay. So how do we end up giving it to him? Can we give him something? I don't think we can give him any any of this stuff. Hmm. Just take a quick, quick look. Alright. She doesn't have anything else to say, right? What is that supposed to mean? Yeah. Nothing by. Nothing by. Let's make sure there's nothing else in here. I don't think so. I think we have seen... Okay. Let's see... Yeah, we, we gotta get, get the cane somehow. So that's actually... There are a few items here we can pick up, yeah. We got a paper. Ooh, okay. Where's she heading off to? I think she's guiding me where I have to go. Say, where is she going? She's going over here. This is where my room was. Interesting. Now she's walking back the other way. Okay, I guess she just p uh, paces. But anyway, what we are supposed to do? I believe it was this room here. Yeah, the girl with with the crayon. Okay. And I take a crayon in the in this world here. Okay, so we have to find some sort of way to cure her. So that would be be, be this here. I see. I wasn't even th thinking about this. Here we go. Here you go, ma'am. Here's your band aids. Oh, thank you. You can have my crayon. Now go, I have to draw. Perfect. Okay, so so now it should be pretty obvious what we have to do. Let's head head down here to the arcane man. You have to remember, you have to think very strategically. You have to something that would cure her. She's not gonna ask specifically for a bandage, but that was it. That was it, you know? Okay, so... Combine the paper with the crayon. There you go. Okay, I'll draw something special for the king. Here you go, sir. He's happy. He likes it. Oh, that's beautiful. Exactly what I dreamt of. You can take my sword now. It's yours. Thank you. 
Thank you, thank you. Okay, so now. Now we can go. Get this uh, key. I'm wondering actually like where where to get uh, get the coffee. I would imagine it would be in there, but it, it didn't give me that that option. But anyway, let's head over, sir. I will now. Can we actually combine these? Yes, we can. Got the key. Key to the office. Wonderful. Okay, the door is open. Head on in. Ah, this is the office that we initially started in. Mental Health Global Week. An interview with Dr. Dern about working with children. An inter- okay. wonder what people do with all the- Huh. What a lovely painting. I wish I could draw like that. October and November. I guess we are in October now. And technically, yes, we are. Testing day. Every day is testing day. What tiny text. Thoughts of Mercer Derm. Hmm. You are not alone. Join us today. Oswald Asylum. Join us. You don't want to. You don't want to join that. Dr. Marcel. Turn off. Oh, hang on. Oh, the code. Oh, I've seen this before. What does it mean? Hmm. Take, take a look. Turn off the alarm from the security system panel in reception. The yellow door will remain open for two minutes until the alarm reactivates. Alarm code, December 17th, July 20th, 25th. Okay. So we gotta remember that. I guess that'll be 12... I guess you would add, add them up. Add them up. Okay. Take a look. The books are all the same. I wonder whose head that is. The yellow typewriter. I could write a letter to Aunt Grace. Dear Aunt Grace, take me out of here, please. Vision, taste and hearing. I learned, I learned something of this at school. I don't remember at all. The brain is so complicated. I don't even understand all of my thoughts. I guess nobody does completely. You got another key. Take a look. An extra key. I got it from the office. <clears throat> hmm. The doctor used to sit here and do nothing. The doctor ate an apple. I could use this as a helmet to prevent injuries when I faint. But I guess my hair was it. <laughs> but I guess my hair does a good job too. I hate this bed. I'm not laying down here. I have cried so many times here. Okay. I don't really know what this is. Who oh, air comes out of it, like the wind. I guess behind this, there's a hole. A wind hole. Oh no. Oh. That dead girl looks a bit like me. Well, I'm sedated and I see weird stuff, but I'm not dead. I can breathe and talk and all things a living person does. Even though your eyes are open, you can't understand. Even though your eyes are bleeding, you can't feel. Don't hide what hurts. Let it hurt you. Which is the key I hold at? Add all the keys. I need to open the gate in front of the yellow door. I don't really know what this is. Okay. Interesting. Anything else we can we can do here? Oh. Dr. Phil. A forgotten girl with no family or cat will die when the moon arrives. What do you mean? Dr. Phil! What have you done, Dr. Phil? Alright, Phil. Please let me out. I shouldn't scream. If they find me in here, I'm a big... Where did I put, put the keys? 
Oh, Phil, please let me out. If they find me in here, I'm, I'm in big trouble. Yeah, you are. So is this the key out? Let's see. I have a feeling that it's not. The key doesn't work here. Oh, no. Go into evil world. There's no door there at all. Oh. Thank you. Oh, the wind hole. I guess this is my way back. I wonder if Phil knew about this. Pretty sure Doc, Dr. Phil did indeed know, know about this hole. Oh no, Rooster! Oh, that rat hit its head. I should give it a helmet. Yes. Now, Rooster doesn't need a helmet. I'll just keep going and going. Ah. Well, we knew that was going to happen. We knew she was going to fall. Oh dear, where am I now? I guess I'll have to find out. Let's say I guess she fell down to the to the basement. There's nothing under the blanket. Old and rusty. I guess I have to place asleep if I don't find the way out. Oh. If I were a witch, I could fly away from here. I'd fly with my kitty while the night is filled with shining stars. And we would visit curious places because we both like curious things. How cute is that? Ah, now I can't go back. But anyway, if I go back, I know what I'll find. I shouldn't be afraid of anything moving forward. A mop that would dance on the floor. Mr. Midnight hate, hates mops. He always tried to kill them with his ferocious paws. <laughs> A mop that... Okay. It's funny. Oh, we have here a box. The box is open. Let me see. Ooh. Scrap label. Bottle's empty. I guess they would put some pills in it. Bad pills. I just take them to find my kitty. Yellow pills, huh? They look more fun than red pills. Oh gosh, is she gonna be like a druggie now? Gloves. Tell me nothing. All nurses wear gloves. Okay, patient. Is our current target. Is that is that our number? That may be our number. Target response is positive. Now expanding the trigger the triggered gland. Exomoplatin dose up to 1700 micrograms. Change the container so it looks like an approved variant of duotine. Are they like conducting experiments on these kids here? Yes! This is my hospital! I conduct experiments on all these kids! Ah ha 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 ha! I could t take it and taste it, but I don't want it. Besides, it's not good to eat things that... That, that can be bad. Because they are bad, so why take it? Okay. Let me check our inventory, make sure we don't have anything to... We have a key and we have a password. No water to wash my hands. Mm, cleaning products, they should clean our toilets. Sponges and washcloths and thousands of chemicals. I don't think I need any of those. Okay. Oh gosh. Heads came tumbling down from the steps. You really lose your head in this place. Hopefully I can escape before I lose mine. Okay, let's see what's in the, in the box. Is there anything different? Nope, same stuff. Lies. What does this say? Lies. Lies in a box. Yeah, well, I guess that, uh... That did make sense. That there were lies in there, for sure. Okay, well, we have a key for this. There we go. Oh, no! Ah-ha-ha-ha! <laughs> If you struggle, you will know what that it was I. I will be around every corner to make you suffer and cry. If you choose to disobey, your cat's life will be marked. Ha 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 ha.
Now take my experimental product and turn into a shark! Oh, my dear little kitty, we'll soon be together again, I promise. I miss you, my dear. I miss you so much. Why are you leaving? Please don't leave me alone, Mr. Midnight. At the end of the maze, Fran. He wants us to follow him to the end of the maze. I fainted again. I wonder if my dreams are true. The monster won't let me go home. But if I find the maze, maybe I can find Mr. Midnight. I wonder. I don't think there's going to be anything like weird right here, right? Let's see. Nope, there isn't. But there is- oh! Oh! Oh, that is very disturbing. That's incredibly disturbing. You can't blame those who are ignored. But you can't be- let ignorance decide. Life will teach you, even through pain and tears. My path to life has been denied. I haven't been born, but I was alive. I'm waiting for a mother to love me. The operating room. I don't want to go inside. It smells like rotten flesh. Ugh. I don't want them to play with my head in here. That's okay. Oh, this is not good. And this is not even in in the Doc Dr. Fauci world either. This is this is normal. So they are doing experiments on these kids here, and they're like they're suffering in the basement. Oh no, poor girls. I hope they get well soon. I hope I never end up like like this. I wouldn't if I let the sick place and find Mr. Midnight. Oh, gosh. Hello, are you resting? Did you puke? That's disgusting. I hope you get well soon. This is also locked here. That must be the sta um, stairs up to that one hallway. Okay, well, let's see what this stuff looks like in the demon, demon world. Oh, gosh, look at this. Who is that, sir? Wake up. Yeah, who is that? Disturbing. What does that say? It word? It says it word. I don't know what that means. Hmm. Maybe in in word? Oh, his brain's like half eaten. Oh boy. What do you have? Why do you have your brain out? Oh, maybe that's right. They actually eat his brain. He won't answer. I guess the mice will come and have some meat. They actually do eat brains here. Yes. I took the new one upstairs. Rambo? No, I haven't seen her. What? The key to the cellar? Well, no. And the doctor's office? He used to have the key there. Calm down, the key is not there. It's not here. Sure, I'll let you know if it turns up, but you must calm down. Yes, I'll bring it to you if I find it, alright? Bye. Gosh. I hate working at this place. Guys, can I, can I talk to her? Miss Nurse, I hope you want to go to the toilet seat. Okay, what do we have here? Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. I'm at the reception already. This is grand. The nurse. I have to get rid of her. What should I do? Oh my goodness. Okay. It says baby shaken syndrome. Okay. Yep. Nothing else we can really do here. That's uh... We don't have anything else here. We have a key. Let's go into the demon world. Let's see. Oh. Oh, 
You are all skinny. Yitch. Why are you hanging up there? Are you a nurse too? He is not a nurse. At the end of the maze. This is exactly what Mr. Midnight told, told me. I wonder what's at the end of the maze. Whatever it is, I hope I can find my kitty. I can't remember Aunt Grace's phone number. I'll just surprise her when I get home. Oh, a love letter. Doc Dear Pete. Ew, gross. Okay. What else we have here? Key holder has no keys to hold. If only the key holder could talk. That wouldn't be rare. A talking piece of wood. Anything else we can actually look at here? It does not appear to be. There's something here, though, on the ground. I almost missed this. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Are you okay, little baby? Is that your mommy hanging up there? Oh gosh, it is, isn't it? You miss her? I miss my mommy, too. There's a chair here, too. Hmm. I don't want to be here anymore. Wasting time. Where's my poor little cat? It's freezing outside. I'm wasting a time on a sofa. Okay. So if she has a phone... That's gonna be some sort of way. Hmm. Some sort of way to get her, I guess, out there. I guess we gotta do something to make her 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 do something. She says something about a key, right? Lost okay, what if we put can we, can we put a key here? It can't be done. We put a key in the key holder. That's it, that's it, okay. Hope the nurse sees the key. Oh, the key was here after all. I better take it back. Bye. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna walk out and not even look behind me. Not like there's like a demon behind me or anything, but okay. Ma'am? 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 You don't see me here? She does not see, see me. Anyway, here's the yellow, the yellow door. I can't open the door. It's locked. So yeah, we gotta use the password in order to get on out. Actually, wait, wait, wait. What does this say? Does it say anything? No, it does not. Okay. So, so four digit password. So let's look at our note. Here is our, our, our note. Actually, no, I don't, I don't want to use it. I want to examine it. Let's, let's take a look. So December 17th, that's 12 and 17th. So that'd be 20, 2, 9, okay, July and 25. So that would be 32. Okay, 32. 29, 32. Oops. That should be it. Yes, I'm the best. The very best. Okay, let's get the heck on out of, out of here. We have escaped. We have escaped. You little bo- I will make you pay for what you did. Oh, my head. My head's gone. You clever little girl. Do you think you can just leave? You haven't been- You haven't had experimental products done on you yet. What? It can't be. No. Oh, oh no. Dr. Fauci has an enemy. <gasps> it's the kitty cat. Little kitty. I need to go get to the maze. Yep, let's get to the maze. Hey, kitty. Okay. There's the maze. Let's head on in. You won't be able to find us, you know? We're inside of the maze. 
So we can skip the maze. I'm not going to skip skip the maze because there's an achievement you can get if you actually do the maze. Let's actually do the maze. Totally le legit. Uh oh. Uh, no! I got eaten, okay. Okay, so that's to make sure that, that we don't run into them. Oh, Mr. Kitty's gonna show me the way. Mr. Kitty. Where'd you go, Mr. Mr. Kitty? I think I see him up here. Or was that the demon? That's the demon. Sorry, Mr. Kitty, I kind of miss, miss you. But anyway, we're actually making better progress now, it looks like. I hear him. I think we gotta get... Get over here. Mr. Kitty! <gasps> no, no, no. Wait for the demon. Okay. I think we're almost at the end. Yeah, we did it. We did it. And we got the achievement. Very nice. At the end of the maze, you will find... The evil critters of the, of the night. They will hunt you. They will laugh. But there will always be a good side. A cat full of nuts and bolts. Will always be your guide. Oh no. She lost the photo of her parents. Okay, that's where we enter Chapter 2, Part 1, Curiosity Symptoms. This is where we're going to stop for this uh, part here. As we're now outside of the asylum. Oh my goodness, that was close. I hope the guards don't find the sewer. Okay. That's a good place to... Oh, what is this place? I hope I find Mr. Midnight soon. Yep. We will. We will soon enough. So, yep, that's going to do it for this part of Franbo. Next time, we're going to head into Chapter 2. I want to explore outside and see what sort of craziness is going, going, going to be with her. So, yep, I will see you then.